Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 11th, 2020. Sorry, I had to look at my computer to find out what, what the thing was here. So let's hop on with the news here. Real quick here. We actually have um, Republican members of Congress who voted against certifying Joe Biden's presidential victory even after a mob broke into the Capitol, are being denounced by uh, critics in their home uh, districts who demand that they resign or be ousted. Ousted, that's right. And then two Capitol Police officers suspended, one possibly arrested over pro-Trump riot, Congress says. Not nice, right? The Arizona Republican Party will vote January 23rd on a resolution to... Censor Cindy McLean for publicly endorsing President elect Joe Biden, a Democrat. Wow, isn't that nice? Republican endorses Joe Biden, and what happens is they get ousted. Wow, that's pretty nice, isn't it? And then Texas based ATT suspending contributions for GOP lawmakers who objected to certifications of President elect Joe Biden. Isn't that nice? ATT is now not given. Uh, endorsements for the GOP. I guess that means they're losing money. And a majority of voters in the United States believe President Trump should be blamed for last week's domestic terrorist attack on the U.S. Capitol. In fact, 56% of them say that. And then a Congress, as Congress decides how to proceed with calls to move the removal of President Trump from office, Many lawmakers want their colleagues who sought to overturn the election results and amplify the president's anti-dramatic um, conspiracies about the, his election loss to face consequences. Wow, isn't that nice, right? And funny thing is, one of them is Josh Hawley, the other is Ted Cruz. They kind of done for a third one, but, you know, that's how it is. First Lady Melania Trump called for an end to violence and encouraged Americans to listen to each other in her first public statement since last week's violence, violent riots at the U.S. Capitol. And when you see the picture of her, you're going to find out that she looks pretty aged after four years. President-elect Joe Biden taps William Barnes to lead the CIA. He has chosen the career State Department official William Burr to serve as the director of the Central Intelligence Agency. Isn't that nice? Right? The Supreme Court on Monday formally refused to put on a fast-track election challenge filed by President Trump and his allies. House Democrats have introduced an article of impeachment for President Donald Trump. Representative Davis, I can't even say his last name, he's a, he's a um, Democrat from Rhode Island, and James Raskin, Democrat from Maryland, and um, Ted Lewis, a Democrat from some other place, have all, all introduced a article of impeachment for him. Isn't that nice? The FBI is warning of plans for armed protest at all 50 state capitals and in Washington in the day leading up, days leading up to President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. We have social networking site Parler, a, a known haven for President Trump's most fervent supporters, has gone offline after Amazon kicked the website off its site. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, um, Apple, Google, as well as Amazon has basically taken them off their services. Donald Trump is visiting Texas. And he's preparing to visit the Rio Grande Valley on Tuesday in the midst of planning impeachment proceedings following a violent week at the U.S. Capitol. Isn't that nice, right? He's going to get impeachment process for that one. And then apparently that uh, West Virginia uh, state lawmaker charged after storming U.S. Capitol, he reviews, he refuses to resign. Uh, the PGA of America cuts ties to Trump, President Trump, when it voted to take the PGA championship away from his golf course next year. <laughs> He's losing all types of stuff with his stupid acts, right? And the stimulus news is President like Joe Biden says. An expensive stimulus package is his top priority. Regarding the second stimulus checks, the IRS announced that some people receive paper checks or prepaid debit cards instead of direct deposit. 
People may receive a prepaid debit card or a paper check, even if they got direct deposit on their first stimulus check. And IRS says, these payments will arrive in a plain white envelope with the U.S. Department of Treasury seal on it. Isn't that nice, right? Vice President Mike Pence is being pressured into invoking the 25th Amendment and removing President Donald Trump from office. If Pence does this, and you know, invokes the 25th Amendment, there might, this might lead to more acts of violence for Trump. Pelosi has started the impeachment process on the House floor this morning, basically for Donald Trump to get rid of him. In Biden's stimulus package, not much is known, but there will be a $2,000 stimulus check, extended unemployment, state and local government assistance, rental assistance, and loans for small businesses. These are just some of the um, things to be expected in the next stimulus package, which will be the third stimulus package that got passed for the people. Um, but in this uh, overall, the stimulus package is going to exceed one trillion dollars. As far as how fast Congress can act on this, there's two things that need to happen. First, President-elect Joe Biden and uh, president and elect Vice President uh, Harris have to be sworn into office and, and take their seats. And the Democrat senators that won in Georgia need to also take their seats as well. So based on these factors, the earliest we could see any relief would be basically February, sometime early February, late February. January 2nd, 22nd will be here soon. And most Democrats are on board with Biden's stimulus proposal, except for I think it's Ron or John Manchin, who opposes the $2,000 stimulus check idea because he don't believe it would get people back to work. Well, right now there's work that is so scarce out there that it's hard to get people back to work because the jobs, oh my gosh, there's so many people without, without employment right now, that's not even funny. If Manchin keeps opposing the $2,000 stimulus check idea, Biden will have to attract more Republicans to his side. That's right, he'll have to get more, more Republicans on his side. As you know, Josh Hawley, uh, is one of the people that actually is outspoken about the $2,000 things and he's actually for it. And he's also a one of those young go-getters that believes that he can get, he can rally co the Republicans to his side and he's planning to run for president in 2024. But he's also one of those ones that also spoke out about certifying uh, President-elect Joe Biden's victorial victory in the presidential elections. On Sunday, Jeffries told NBC News you know, Donald Trump may be in the Twitter penalty box, but he still has access to the nuclear codes. Oh, he has access to the nuclear codes. That's pretty frightening, don't you think? I mean, that, that's sort of a terrifying process. He could actually launch the nuclear missiles and cause World War III? Probably. Well, let's hope he don't, because I hope he's not that stupid. Tr Trump is totally and completely out of control. And even his longtime enablers have come to this conclusion. According to an ABC News poll, 56% of Americans believe Trump should be removed from office, and the other 43% believe he should be left into office. Isn't that pretty bad? I mean, we got 56 that want to remove from office, 43 doesn't. How about this? Why don't you guys tell me what you want? I mean, do you want to be him have uh, the Article 25 done on oh, sorry, Amendment 25 done on him, impeached, resigned, or let him finish his term and then let's see what happens then? Because many senators are actually talking about how right now starting an impeachment process on Donald Trump would be a waste of time and resources because it could take a few months to actually impeach Donald Trump. And yet Nancy Pelosi has already started her process of trying to impeach Donald Trump. So what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that we should impeach him? We should uh, Amendment 25 him, let him resign in peace, or let him finish out his term? Please let me know in my comments box below. And if you guys enjoy what you hear, please hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you can hear my interesting voice as much as you want. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful Monday, and I will speak again to you guys tomorrow. Bye.